Welcome into the K0LWC Ham Shack. Today, we're checking out the Yezu FT5D and Channel Activity Monitor. What is it and what does it do? This used to be called the Club Activity Monitor on the FT3D, and I'm glad they changed the name because it really didn't make sense. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your radio is in memory mode. Uh, so here we are in memory mode. I'm on uh, channel number one, which is the Oakdale, Minnesota repeater for us. Uh, what you're going to want to do is then click the FT3D menu button. Uh, once in the uh, F menu, go ahead and go to the next menu and click on cam. Once here, it's going to default to uh, group number one. So we're going to go ahead and click on group. Now I'm going to go ahead and edit and add some memories to group one. Uh, and there's more groups in here. You can have a bunch of different groups depending on how you want to set up your radio. So go ahead and click on edit and we want to add a frequency here to group one. So let's go ahead and enter and add Oakdale. Let's uh, scroll down with the wheel here to number two, and let's add in Maple Grove Radio Club. Let's go to number three, add in the Burnsville, Minnesota repeater. Let's go to four, and let's enter 52 Simplex. And then I already have APRS, just so we have something with some activity to compare against already listed in the five slots. So again, you can have up to five frequencies in a group. Um, so they're already added. So let's go ahead and click on back. And then now I want to name this something that you know makes sense to me. So I'm going to go ahead and click on name. I'm going to delete out group one. And we're just going to call this for the purposes of this video, repeaters. So this would be like, let's say you want to monitor five different repeaters in your area and check for activity. And you don't want to just do the old uh, scan feature. This is great because it'll show you current activity and a visualization for recent activity, which is kind of neat. So, all right, almost there. There's our R and let's put in the S. All right, perfect. We got our repeaters listed in there. We'll go ahead and click on VM. And now you can see we have group one set as repeaters. So uh, now let's go ahead and back out. And now we will see here on uh, our group one, we have G11, G12, G13, 4, and 5. So these are all of our fr frequencies that we had programmed in. I'm going to go ahead and set this down, grab my microphone here for my Kenwood D710, uh, and let me key up on 52 Simplex and watch what happens on the screen. Uh, K0LWC on 52. Oh, look at that. G4 popped up and we got G5 popping up. G5 is that APRS frequency. So we're getting some packets coming through. I did that again just to showcase and have some kind of activity here for you guys to see. Now, what's really neat is uh, you can just click on if you hear something and it will jump to that frequency automatically, which is really nice. So uh, when you see these bars, a gray bar indicates recent activity on that frequency, a blue bar indicates immediate activity on the frequency and a yellow bar indicates immediate activity on the actual channel that you're on. So this is a great visual way to take a look and monitor across multiple different methods. Uh, and there's that yellow bar example, uh, K0LWC. So this is a great way if you want to monitor multiple machines all at the same time, up to five per group, uh, and be able to see if there's been any recent activity. So that, in a nutshell, is the channel activity monitor function. If you have any questions, drop a comment down below. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. I'll catch you again next time.